Hello and welcome to my video tutorial series RPG in a Box. I am Kasten and in this episode I want to show you how to use auto trial groups. So I will you explain the concept of auto trial groups and also how you can use it to create a lake like this or an ocean, desert areas and I'll have a, an idea how to create houses from auto trial groups. So let's start. You may already know about auto tiles. So many editors have a feature where you can place different tiles like grass and sand, and they build a zone between the, the two materials where it is um, a transition from the grass tile to the desert area. So also this is included as a default feature in RPG in the box, and we can find it in our icon sets by create auto tiles. If we click on this icon, we see the blueprint of defining auto tiles. So we use name here and we also define our materials. So this is the full grass block in our first example. And this would be the, the lake block. And then we need the, uh, the, the areas around it. So you have this, the, uh, we need these transition zones from one material to the other. And we also need the diagonal attached corners. So we have to first to we have first to create these assets to create our auto tiles from. So we already have the grass tile from the last episode, which is four layers high, so we can uh, build it like stairs to define hills and something like this in this area. And I also already have defined a sand tile, and I added three additional layers, so it's also with a high of four voxels. And I also adjusted the surface level to the uppermost voxel layer in both uh, models. So then we need the transition area for the straight transition between the grass and desert. And I choose this one. So I built it by deleting, uh, by um, copying the sand tile. Then I deleted uh, the two rows at the grid and uh, additional a few simple uh, single voxels and then I copied it from the grass tile and pasted it into this and that's the straight transition from um, sand to grass. I also did this with the inner corner and also the outer corner and then we need the diagonal corner which is this one and we can simply do it the same way I will show it right now by selecting a few voxel and deleting them with the delete key. And additional, we can select them, copy by um, control C and paste by control V. And then we can turn it around in this position and place it with accept. And we can use this. So before you have to copy your asset, of course. So that's the setup for our auto tiles for the grass send transition. And now we can build our new auto tile group in the map editor. So we go back to the map editor and we create our auto tile and give it a name grass to sand. So and then we have to define our models for every single space and stay attention you cannot leave a single field empty because then you cannot save your auto tile. So you have to pick a model for every single space. So we start with the transition field or with the full field of grass. And this is the sand tile. And then we place our transition tiles around it. So first is the sand grass transition straight and we include this four times and you see if I put it in this field it's also in this so the engine supports me and avoids that I have to do multiple things which it can do automatically so and we have the outer corner like this and the inner corners like this and the diagonal corners and there we have to stay attention because our grass must be in this area, 
like this. And then we have to turn it around like this. And that's it. And now we are asked if we want to use our auto tile group right now. And we say, yes, we want. So that's the auto tile group. And you cannot choose your other models in this panel. So you have to, to, to set it back to filter by name, which is the default. So these are your default models. And we can um, choose between auto tiles and the default models. So then we want to include this in the first map, but not in this map. Instead, we use uh, a test map. So, and then if you choose an auto tile setting, your select box for placing mode is disabled. So we can avoid this by using just a plain grass tile, which is our transition field. We use the box mode and we draw an area like this and then we go back to the auto tile mode and we can draw this and now it's really important the defined tiles in our auto tile group define our transition areas so because we have a grass tile and we have a sand tile it will automatically um, recognizes these fields and build transitions from one uh, tile to the other but just from these two main tiles and our um, transition areas. So I cannot use this on, 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 on everything else like water or something what is not included at exactly this auto tile group. So this cannot ha just handle grass and sand. So I now can draw grass with left mouse button and this is really annoying. So we used the box mode instead. And if I click right, I change to the de uh, to the dirt uh, ah, to the sand tile, and I can simply put it in the map, and my transition areas are drawn automatically. And I also can switch back with right mouse button to the grass tile. So and that's pretty cool and pretty easy and really fast for drawing. So I don't have to choose uh, the different tiles like uh, the straight and the inner corner and the outer corner and uh, the diagonals uh, which is used in this area oops here and also yeah yeah i don't get it okay so that's it for now. And now we want to add some more auto tile groups. So I created a lake model, and that's simply the river model a little bit changed. So I have the, the side area, the gap of two grass voxel rows, and also the sand. And uh, my water is one voxel layer lower than the grass. And I use this to build up the full lake tile and the trade transition and also the inner corner uh, no this is not, the inner corner transition and the outer corner transition and the diagonal corner transition simply by copy pasting and i adjusted the surface level to the uppermost voxel as well like the river tiles before and i also did this with the a new one which is the ocean so i want to differentiate between uh, flat and deep water. So in the next episodes, my character will be able to walk through flat water, but not through the deep water. Or maybe my character can swim, so then this is also okay. But I have a different setting for the different um, depths of my water fields. So I have the, the open ocean, the straight transition, and the inner outer corner and the inner corner and this is the inner corner and the diagonal uh, you know and i use this as well to build my auto tile group but pay attention if you use this again um, i recognized a few bugs so i have misaligned fields and uh, something like this it's um, a little bit buggy but i opened a bug report in the discord um, channel so maybe and hopefully it is fixed if you see the, the tutorial. But 
um, you can simply avoid this by closing your engine and open it again. So this is reset to the default setting with the empty uh, color areas. So I will do this now. So here I am, and now we can create our auto tiles for the lake. So we will build a grass to lake transition, and we also want to fill our models with the tile grass and the lake as well. And we build the transition zones. Now I want to start with the trade transitions again. So, and we rotate it with the right mouse button. And in our corners, and the diagonal, and that's it. So we can use this also in the test map to build our lake next to the desert. So now we can to we can add this. Uh, the, the the lake next to the to the desert because we have already a crest transition. So um, the transition from our tile group is the grass. So we have grass to sand and we have grass to water. And we uh, the the engine recognizes um, the same field is the grass uh, the grass field. So we can attach these together, but we cannot handle. Uh, water to desert transition. So we have to first, we, sh we have to build a, a lake grass transition if we want to do this, but we don't have to. We can simply use it in this way and um, avoiding to attach it next to each other. So this should just be a hind for you to avoid this problem. So you can build transition groups from every single um, material to another. So, and now I will do this with the deep water as well. So, and simply that's it. I have the grass ocean transition and now I can place an ocean next to my, to my lake and can simply draw it. And if I attach the grass field is recognized, so I can build transition zones between these two model types. So it's pretty cool. But this auto tile mechanism is more powerful than we think. So I thought about can I exploit the system to build uh, walls from it? So I need an empty space and I also need a full wall tile. And how can I build this to improve the speed of building houses? So and I came to the idea, um, so make it step by step. Uh, I can use a wall tile from my wall model like this. And I simply set it here and I can use the full tile model as a block of stone like this and i can then draw my walls and have a transition of the full stone block but it's not cool and i also cannot leave any fields open so i need a transition tile which is the the the, the, the attachment between every material so i came to the idea as you can see uh, to use um, placeholders. So I have a placeholder for my empty field, which has an attention mark. So I should avoid to let it stay in the map and I erase this after editing my map. And I also have the full block. And because this will be uh, the center of every wall model auto tile, I have transitions between all materials with just a single block. Maybe in the next updates, there is a possibility to leave a block open or empty. Um, I don't know if it works. I opened the bug ticket and Justin told me he will improve the auto tile feature as well in the next months, maybe. And uh, he's um, 
I found it pretty awesome that this feature is now used and what we can do with it. So, and now I simply create a wall auto tile group. For my walls, I have different models. I have the normal stone wall like this. I have the plaster wall. I have the timbered wall in the lower and the upper stone. So we can see it at my house. I differentiate between the layers. So I have the support beam, which is um, at different positions. So I have a lower line and an upper line, and I have to handle this. And we will do a, a wall model for the stone walls together. And then I will uh, make a short break and edit my other models for myself and show you the results. So we add the wall stone. And then we have to fill our gaps. <clears throat> so we need the wall tile itself. And this is my full block, which is, I'll show you, which is this one. And the empty one is this one. And I cannot see the difference in my uh, preview, but it's pretty nice to use it in the game to define transitions. So, and now I use the wall stone trait, wall stone here, wall stone straight four times, and other corners as well. And then the inner corners, And the diagonal, and I have to adjust the positions, the rotations, like this, and simply that's it. No, that's it. And now we can draw walls. And I will add the auto tile groups for the other wall pots before showing you how to create the full house. A uh, uh, full house level with this. So now I have all my tile groups uh, crest to sand, crest to lake, crest to ocean, wall to stone, wall to plaster, wall to timbered in the lower section and the upper section. And because we used the full and the empty tile placeholder, we have a transition between every single model type of our walls. So, and I also found. Uh, that we can use the box mode simply by avoiding the select box and press B to select the box mode. So it's, it should be really a bug. And uh, now we can also um, pick our grass tiles and draw uh, an area for our new house. So like, again, the box mode like this. And um, I don't want to have grass inside my house, so I also want to add my timber ground, like this. So, and now we want to build our house on top of this, so we select the auto tiles, and because we have the full and the empty tile in every single model, we have transitions from each wall uh, material to the other. So we raise our set level by one and we use the full block and we force the block mode as well. And then we draw one tile wider than our uh, wooden floor is because we need the transition area between the full and the empty block. So then we can select the, wall, uh, the stone wall for the outer shelf. And we use right mouse button to set the empty block and we draw a straight frame around the house. And in the next level, you will see what happens. So I rise my one layer and my layer by one. And now you see my outer wall shell is made automatically by my auto tile group. And this is pretty nice. And it saves a, mat, a lot of time for drawing my interior and exterior. And I also can use this to build gaps in the wall, like a balcony or something else. 
And I also can build the interior now from this by selecting the, uh, let's make a, an entrance of um, the timbered wall. So we need the upper section first and we use the empty tile. Oops, it was too close at the outer wall. So like this, and we can use the plaster as well to build two separated rooms. And we can also build the interior here with um, spacings between the walls like this. And we also can add more wall parts as well like this. And it's pretty nice to use this and it's really time saving. So I think that's a really nice feature. And now we have to erase or to delete the empty tiles so we can see and edit the next layer. So here it would be nice if we could use just a real empty tile. And I tried it with an empty grid, but it doesn't work. So it doesn't accept a, a tile, which is simply an empty grid. And with transparency, we haven't 100% uh, transparency. So we can not exploit the system anymore with such things at the moment, but hopefully uh, the next patches will bring us more possibilities to this feature. So, and now I use the lower section and also with the empty grid like this. And now we see my entry room is pretty nice styled. And my walls are placed and so I have just to set my my doors and my windows uh, tile by tile and we can build the complete house structure with a few exceptions because I cannot have a, a room with a width of two tiles with this so I have a minimum of the three by three tiles okay so Hopefully that was very informative for you and it helps you to build your awesome own game. And as usual, if you liked it, give me thumbs up. I would be very excited about your subscription so I can break out the Google bubble and have um, a greater audience. And hopefully we see us in the next tutorial episode as well. So see ya and bye.